This video goes out to Dwayne T64. He's got a YouTube channel, sort of like mine. He does some other things that I don't do, like blacksmithing. Pretty cool channel. I'll leave a comment to his page in the description below. Go check him out. But I'm doing this video over a suggestion he made in one of my previous videos. And I really appreciate when people leave suggestions and comments and interact on YouTube. That's what it's really about. How each of us can improve the things we do every day in life. With that being said, he said he would like to see inside the hives. I have the equipment to do that. It takes two cameras. But uh, most of the time I do these videos, I do them on a cell phone because I don't really pre-plan this stuff. But I pre-plan this one. We're going to add the same thing I did in the last video. We're going to add some sugar water and do a quick hive inspection to see how far along they are on these upper hives boxes. And I'll get you a shot inside the video. So we're going to smoke the bees, let them know we're here. There's not a lot of activity in the front. Most of them are probably out foraging today. They are now going through sugar water about a quart every day or two. A little bit of smoke in the top, get them to go down. Got one straggler here on top. He'll eventually get the message and go. If not, I'll just put him in. Looks like he left. It's a video up there recording. You can see the top. They have really got this propolized now. Because even though winter is still a couple months months out. They really want this hive sealed up. A few bees on the top. I just lay the top cover out in the front. And usually by the time I'm getting ready to put it back on, they're gone. My cat's out here. That's never a good sign when I'm working on the hive. Checking the beetle traps. I saw a beetle, hive beetle, the last time I did this inspection on this hive. There's actually a dead one right here. That's why, probably why it's propolized so high too. Probably not as much comb as I would have liked to have seen. Let me pull one of these frames out. If I move that camera over there, I'm afraid I'm going to change. The perspective so we'll start here I actually think they ain't got much, any comb. They're looking over, they're probably still in the wax for maybe they need the wax in the bottom. Anyways, there's actually quite a bit of bees on each frame. If you look here, you pull us back out. Some of them's actually gone back down to the bottom. Can you see? So that's about how many bees are working on these top frames. These are all new frames. This was a new box. I generally try not to get into these too much, but I do want to take a look at this hive beetle trap because there was a lot of bees over here by it. No hive beetles in it, which is good. I'm going to look at this one too. They're basically propolizing it in place. I just accidentally spilt some oil. If 
few drops of oil. But either way, I've seen everything in this I need to see. All I want to do is put it back together and get the sugar water on there. Oops. This is always the fun part. If you're going to get stung, it's usually right now. Don't see any more bees. I've basically got a piece of duct tape. This is my inner cover, piece of duct tape. Then I put my jar right on top of it. There's my jar. That keeps the bees in the hive. My top box that all it really does is protects the jar. And then my outer cover. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Give me a minute to switch this all around. Smoke the bees. I think you can see me on the other. Let them know I'm here. Let me swap this angle, which might take some adjusting. Oh, man. And I just got a high temperature on my phone. You're not going to get to see in this other box. So that's something else I always have to deal with. The camera kicked off. Don't even know if it saved the previous video.